Where's your master? In in the paddock. <sighs> Crucifix. What kind of beasts could do this? By the blood of the martyrs. What happened here? Why? Someone came at night and hamstrung every one of them. The horses screaming must have woke poor Radek, the stable boy. And when he tried to stop them. And then my husband, when my husband tried to help them, they killed him too. And when they were done, they put a torch to the stables. My sincere condolences, ma'am. I swear we'll hunt those monsters down and make them pay for this. The horses were still alive when I came. We had to finish them off. All of them. The pain in their eyes. They couldn't understand how anyone could do this to them. Did they steal anything? Any horses? <laughs> Nothing. They wanted blood, not coin. Did your husband quarrel lately? Was there anyone who might want revenge? He argued over the price of a saddle, maybe, but nothing... Nothing that could drive a man to... This. These are dark days when there's more kindness in horses than in men. Did you see anything? How many were there? Or what did they look like? We saw no one. Has anyone tried to follow their trail? No. We were fighting the blaze until now, and even if we weren't, what chance would any of us have against someone who could do this? A pox on it. Mount up in quarter the area. We have to find out where they went. Look for tracks and ask the folk if they saw anyone. Fuck, someone must have at least caught sight of them. Yes, yes sir. sir. What about me, Captain? What the hell use are you? You stay here. Please, let me do something. I could have a look around the area and see if they left any tracks. Well, if you must. Just don't get in anyone's way. Don't go too far, and come back here when you're done. Well, if it was the prophet, at least I'd understand. But I feel for nothing. We came just as soon as we could. You sound like you fancy me. Why me? Fucking lying there, waiting to you like a pig. Go see him. Go fucking tell him that you came as soon as you could. Uh, what a fucking mess. They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? They really did slaughter them. Why would anyone do that? How could anyone be so cruel? Smell. The stud farm owner. I saw him in Scallets a few times. His poor widow. Ask. I... I can come back later if you... No. 
I saw you came with the soldiers, and the sooner you know everything, the sooner you'll catch those savages. I'm sorry to trouble you, ma'am, but could you tell me about the raid? The noise woke us up. Me and Smil. We thought the horses were restless, or maybe some drunk had staggered here from the inn. Do you get drunks coming here a lot? Sometimes, but not this time. My husband went out to see what was going on. Then I just heard loud voices and screaming. It's so stupid. It didn't even occur to me at first that something could have happened to Smil. I didn't find out until the morning. Did you recognize any of the voices you heard? No, but they spoke Czech. Cursing like demons. Even at each other. At each other? They quarrel? Yes. Something must have happened. And where did you hear this noise? Everywhere. It was chaos. I don't even know how many of them there were. I mean at the very start. Do you remember where you heard the noise come from then? I don't know. I just don't know. Did you get a look at them? There's one man, huge, and dressed all in black. Did you see him? No, I didn't. Who should I question about the raid? Did anyone here see anything? From what I've heard, Mark was the first one to wake. It might be a good idea to talk to him. Jindu was sleeping in the stable. He might have seen something. Jacob, the old stable boy. He even fought with them. I don't know of anyone else. Another useless soldier coming to ask questions. You should have fucking been here last night. What's wrong with your arm? Oh, oh dear. That looks painful. That's all you gotta say about it, you useless prick. What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. And how did you come by that wound? I heard someone talking, so I went to look outside. Then I saw what they'd done to the horses. I shouted at those bastards. Caught one by the cloak and started beating him. Without a weapon? With just your fists? Yeah. But he cut me pretty good, the fucker. Lucky for me, the other started to come out then, so the raiders ran. All that's left is his cloak. And you've got no idea why they did it. Something must have gone wrong for them. They ran off without taking anything. There's one man in particular. Huge. Dressed all in black. Voice loud enough to crack stone. Did you see him? Who the fuck do you think half killed me? So he really was here. The bastard. Can you help me? Help you? And how have you helped me? What in the world happened here? The bastards attacked us. At night, a little before dawn. Did you say you were going to scout the area?
How could anyone be so cruel? Poor wretch. He must have crawled here. If it was the horses they were after, there'll be even more of them by the main stables. How could anyone be so cruel? How could anyone be so cruel? <laughs> are you... Are you well? Leave me alone. Go away. But there's no need to be afraid. With your help, I'll find those bastards, and then I'll make them pay. They... they deserve it. What... what do you need to know? What actually happened here? They... they killed the animals and... <laughs> why did they kill them? Did they take anything? No. Think carefully now. How did it all start? We... We heard the animals, their shrieks, then smell. He shouted, and they murdered him. You're certain it was the animals first, and then smell, not the other way round? I'm certain. I'd never heard a sound like that before. <laughs> now I'll never forget it. What happened after that? We ran outside, and it was chaos. Animals were dying, the stables were burning, and those demons everywhere. The stables were already burning. Didn't that happen after they fled? No. It was to set the blaze when they arrived. You said they were demons? No, just vermin. Worthless human vermin. How many of them were there? Not many. There were just a few that came after us, but more round the back. I heard them yelling at each other. So they were yelling because of all the noise? No, something happened. They quarrelled. In the back? Where? Towards the woods. To the north. They were trying to get away. So some of them were running away and the others were fighting? Aye. For a time. Then more of us came out and we fought back, so the others fled as well. Where? Where did they run to? To the north. Into the woods. Thanks. That's all I needed to ask. How could anyone be so cruel? See what they did here? Kill them! Find those horse sons and kill them!
such senseless brutality. They slaughtered horses as well as people, and yet it seems they didn't take anything. Tracks. Someone fled to the north. Aha. This wasn't done by animals. They must have gone into the woods this way. What? Who's there? Easy. I just came to ask... I don't know anything. Are you hurt? No, no, nothing. Not a scratch. What really happened here? I don't know. Someone attacked. I, I don't know who. You didn't happen to hear where they came from? No! I didn't see a thing!
They went deeper and deeper, for sure. They went deeper and deeper, for sure. Well, I never. The pig turned up willingly for the slaughter. Allez, go for that.
toothpick. Someone in Neuhof must know more about it. You know whose hoofpick this is? Ginger's. He was always bragging about it. Why do you ask? I found it on one of the bandits in the woods. But he... Because of him? Because of him they murdered us? Lord in heaven! Wait, hold on. You think Ginger was responsible for the attack? He ran off! Don't you see? He was acting so strange, and then he ran off. Why the hell would he do that? That does sound rather odd. And you don't know where Ginger could have gone? Dunno. <laughs> Ask Yakov. Are you Henry? Do you know anything about this hoof pick? Yeah, it's Ginger's. He had it made in Mate. Any idea where I might find this Ginger? Well, that's the thing. He packed up and left. What? Look, I know how he looks, but Ginger is a fine fellow. 
I, I don't believe he had anything to do with the attack. Where could he have fled to? Uh, I might know. But you gotta promise me one thing. When you find him, listen to what he has to say before judging. You have my word. Sometimes the charcoal burners come to see him. He gets on well with them. I think that's where he's gone. And where is that? No idea. They've always kept to themselves, you know, charcoal burners. But the forest is full of folk like that. It could be anywhere. Aye, except these ones won't be far. If you follow the stream from the stud farm towards Rate, you'll come across one of their camps. Only... Only what? Ginger didn't go that way, though. He always went by the big road, through the woods in the direction of Ujits. But how can I find them? There's always smoke when they work. <laughs> You'll smell them before you see them. Oh, and they need to be near water. There's that too. So if I go through the woods along running water, I'll find them? Exactly. Are there any charcoal burners around here? Charcoal burners? I don't know. There are lots of woods around, so there could be some. You'd better ask someone else.
Put that weapon away before someone gets hurt. That's mine. Fuck, a pickpocket. Ah, shit, son of.
home. Clear off. Let me sleep. Leave me be. I want to sleep. Good day. Have you seen Ginger around here? Who? A boy with ginger hair, a stable boy from Neuhof. No one from Neuhof's been here.
Christ Almighty, you weak! Could you help me? Depends what you want, doesn't it? I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. They say he ran away and joined up with some charcoal burners he used to hang around with sometimes. Sorry, there's never been a lad called Ginger around here. You have to try somewhere else. A murder's been committed at Neuhof, and that boy likely knows who did it. It's vital I find him. There's been murder aplenty in these parts of late, but that ginger lad really hasn't been here. There'll be a lot less murdering going on once I bring those bastards to justice, so how about helping me out? Calm down, lad, for the love of God. There's been no one like the boy you want round here, but then again, there are other charcoal burners. Try them. You might want to hurry. You're not the first to be asking about him. And the others weren't exactly a noble-looking bunch, although they were generous with their silver. They didn't happen to say what they wanted him for? No, but they definitely didn't look like they wanted to invite him to a feast. Do you have any idea where else he could have gone? You said he was friends with the charcoal burners? Well... You'll definitely find some in the forest between Neuhof and Ujets. There's good spots around there. But that forest is huge. I could spend weeks searching. Then follow the river. That's how you found us, isn't it? Where there's charcoal burners, there's always water nearby. All right. I'll go and ask somewhere else.